Hello everyone. Um, this will be a start of a vlog. I've tried several times and hopefully this will be the time that I can do one. And um, I will be reading probably two books. Um, probably won't finish either of them, um, but it's just fun. I like watching vlogs. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be reading Dragonfire, um, this one, by Donina K. Paul, um, which is book four of the Dragon Keeper's Chronicles. And I just finished reading book three um, for the probably fourth or fifth time. And then this will be my third time, I think, reading this one. Um, I don't like this one quite as much, at least from my memories of it. Um, I still, it's fine. It's just not my favorite, um, but I wanted to continue because, um, I love the, one of the main characters and, um, I didn't want to say goodbye to them yet. So book one is probably, and book five are like tied for my least favorite. Um, book two and book three are my favorites and then book four is just kind of there. So yeah, I'll be reading that one, and then the other book um, I'll be reading is probably An Uncommon Woman by Laura France. This is for the um, romance readathon that Oshina is doing, and um, it's read a new to you author, and um, I've never written anything by her before, and I was really interested in this book, so probably start this one. I probably won't finish either of them, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, those are the books I'm going to be reading. And, um, I have to record my, uh, January wrap up, which were, I only read four books in January. Um, one of them took me almost the entire month to read. But, uh, I read two good books last month and two, two that I didn't really care for as much. So, yeah. And what else is there? Um, I think that's really it for the reading update. Um... update I have gotten a little farther into Dragonfire I'm about to start chapter 14 um it's fine so far um it's a little more boring and the part where the couple gets separated is um coming up and I'm not looking forward to that because then I'll hate reading from her perspective and I'll have the temptation to skip her perspective. So I know that's coming. Um, so yeah, it might take a while to read that one, but it's okay. Um, the, I haven't started an uncommon woman yet, but I want to 
So I might start that tonight or tomorrow, which today is Saturday. Um, I didn't really read much. I read a chapter. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just not really feeling Dragonfire at the moment, which I'm really not feeling many books right now. Um, I have a couple books on my shelves that I haven't read yet, but they're either historical fiction or contemporary, and I have to be in the mood for that. So, yeah. I have two books down there that are part of a series, and then I have some historical fiction on my other shelf. Oh, <sighs> but, yeah. So, I'm wanting to read fantasy, but I don't have any new fantasy, and I really want something like that. Um, I should be getting Romanoff by Nadine Brandes on Monday or Tuesday, so I'm excited for that. Um, and for my TBR of February, like loosely... I want to finish Dragonfire, um, read An Uncommon Woman, um, read Dykin's Heir when it comes out on February 17th, and then, um, read, well, read Romanoff, and then, um, probably reread A Stolen Crown, and then reread the McKillian Trilogy, so that's my hope if i don't get to the rereads that's okay um as long as i read the other books which i'm sure i'll get through romanoff pretty quickly and dykin's air but then um an uncommon woman it's historical fiction so i'm not sure how long it's going to take me to read it depending on how much i like it and then dragon fire is taking me a little bit right now but it it'll be fine uh, so yeah, that's my reading update. I didn't do much today. Um, today is Saturday. I don't know if I said that already. But, uh, yeah, it's been pretty slow here today. I should have read more today, but I just didn't feel up to it. Um, so yeah. <sighs> I didn't know what else to do, so I'm like, hey, I'll just record a snippet from my vlog since I probably should do that, so. I'm not sure how long this vlog is going to be. Probably, um, a couple days. Not strictly a weekend because I don't have enough footage for a weekend vlog, but, um, at least a couple days, so I don't know how long it's going to be, but yeah. So another update, and I read probably, I think, seven chapters of An Uncommon Woman, and um, I'm enjoying it. I actually like the girl's perspective more than the guy's perspective, which is different for me. Um, but I guess with historical fiction, I actually do tend to like that more. But whatever, um, it's pretty good so far. Um, still just getting into the story. Uh, not much to say on it because it's just giving you a little background and like some of the starting points of the story. So it's a pretty, it's a decent sized book. It's not super short. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to keep reading this today. Um, <sighs> not sure if I'll read much of Dragonfire today or not, but I will be reading an uncommon woman so that's my reading update um yeah okay so this video clip is going to be my favorite book covers 
Um, I wanted to do a separate video for it, but it wasn't going to be very long. So I just decided to put it in my vlog. So I only have a couple books and I'm just excited to show you. So the first one, which these are in no particular order. It's just whatever I happen to put them in. Um, this one, I really like this one. Um, I'm not a gold or orange person, but I find it very beautiful and interesting. I also love her hair. Her hair is gorgeous. Um, this is a historical fiction book, and I highly recommend this one. And then the next one is A Princess of Wind and Wave, and this cover is gorgeous. I love the blue and the teals and the greens. Um, my favorite color is green, and I really like the turquoise and the teal. So, um, yeah, I love this part right here, and her dress is pretty, and I love her hair, again. So, um, I really like this one. This is a fairy tale retelling of The Little Mermaid, and this is book six in the second Beyond... The, wait, no. It's Beyond the Four Kingdoms, and it's the second series of The Four Kingdoms, so... Probably should read them in order, just so you understand, even though they can be read as standalones, but it will give spoilers for the past books. So the next one I'm going to have to explain a little bit is it is one of my, it's a nostalgic book for me. It's my favorite from the series, and it has both of my favorite characters on the cover. And then the char like the backdrop is really gorgeous and I love it and there's like a little river and I like it so it's Viking Quest and it's the Raiders Promise and I love the blue here I find it really beautiful and then there's the river this is the guy character and then back here is the girl character who's really small and it hardly counts but it's fine and then like the backdrop is really pretty so this is one of my favorites and that is a historical fiction as well, set back in the time of the Vikings and everything. So, the next one would be An Uncommon Woman, and I really like this cover. I think it's really pretty. Um, I like the, I like how it's her here and like the backdrop, and like the mountains in the distance, but then like down here, it's with like the Indian. So, I find that really cool. Now, once again, really like the blues, and um, really like this cover and that's a historical fiction as well um and the next three I have um is a fire and ash and I really love this cover this is one of my top favorite covers um which technically all of these are but um you have the horse here and then her obviously and I really like her hair <laughs> And then um, you have the enemies in the background, but I find this very interesting and my writing brain likes, it gives me inspiration. So I really love this cover. This is epic fantasy. And then the next one I have is um, a stolen crown. And I really love this. Like I said, I really love green. So this was just right up my alley and Scotland is beautiful. Um, it has a little stream slash river-ish thing. And then the mist hanging over the hills and like the mountains and it's very beautiful. And like you have the crown here and yeah, I really like this one a lot. So yeah, this is historical slash fantasy. So, um... The last one and my top favorite book cover at this moment is um, Exiles, and I really love this one. Um, I can't tell you 100% why I love this one so much, but I love the sword and, like, the detail in here. Like, this part of it is, like, burning and, like, like the hilt of the sword. And, like, it just has so much character and it inspires me a lot, so... And, of course, the green and the blue. Um, and then on the back, don't read it because it's a spoiler, but um, there's green and stuff on the back, too. So, yeah, this is book four. So, don't read the back <laughs> um, before you read the rest of them. 
but those are all my favorite book covers and um i just really wanted to talk about them so i hope you guys liked that and um see you in the next clip or whatever okay so i have a reading update i haven't updated you guys in a while um i was just really busy i finished an uncommon woman i really enjoyed this um there were a couple things i didn't like but besides that i did enjoy it um there were a couple things that i wasn't sure about in this book and that's why i didn't give it five stars and the ending but one of the things i didn't like was that there were um a couple mentions this is a christian book and there were a couple mentions of god that almost were i didn't feel like showed proper respect like she said nothing bad per se i just didn't feel like she showed complete respect it was nothing I would ever do like in my stories so um it, it made me uncomfortable if I could take that one or two parts out of this book it would be great um so that's like really the only other main thing that bothered me and then the other part was that um uh the ending seemed very rushed and I didn't care for that and it was very kind of like summarized and just quickly like ended. Um, also on the back it leads you to expect, this isn't a spoiler because it's literally on the back of the book, it leads you to um, believe that she's being taken captive by the Indians near the beginning because it just doesn't the way it says it on the back, it makes you believe that it's going to be in the beginning. So you read the whole book and then you realize she doesn't get captured till the end. So it kind of, it's like, why did you bother putting it on the back? Because it's not even a major plot point either. So, and like from that point on through the rest of the book, it was kind of weird and just forced in my opinion. So, yeah, that's my kind of brief review on that. Um, I'll probably talk more in depth about it in my February wrap up, but um, the I got a book haul. So that's this next part of the clip is the book haul, which is two books. And the first one that I got, um, they came separately, was Romanoff by Nadine Brandes. I got this in the mail and i'm really excited to read this um well i was really excited to read this i've already finished it but um i really really enjoyed this and i'll talk about more about it in a second um the other book that i got was the call of the sea by cyan and bessie so i got this one and I have not finished this one yet. I am not even halfway. But um, the day I got Romanoff, I decided to read it that day. And I did not get that far. I read the beginning little thing. And I watched, I mean, read maybe like part of chapter one or, or all of chapter one. I don't remember. Um, but then I didn't pick it back up again. And I was like, concerned, to be honest. Um, I knew this had magic in there. Um, but I didn't know what level it would be. Um, I don't like magic. Um, and all my fantasy books don't have it, really. I mean, there's a little bit in some of them, but not all of them. And then I knew this one had some, so... I was a little concerned and then when it started I wasn't sure if I would like it um 
and but then I got invested with the characters and I stuck out stuck it out for them and I ended up really loving it and it's a definite five stars um all my fears um with it uh didn't like they didn't have a real like none of them really were something that I still feared at the end of the book so um it was really good I I really enjoyed this I read it in a day <laughs> I was I devoted so many hours to this book but I really loved it and it broke my heart and ripped it out but it was beautiful and it I had been in a real slump after reading Wolf Soldier and so now reading this just rejuvenated me like I'm so happy now like and now I've started to read this and it's not as good as Romanoff um there's also a couple things that I wasn't sure about in this one already um it's not a super long book but there are a lot of words on a page but I should finish it in the next couple days or so but I'm not sure what chapter I'm on. But I know I'm like 20 something percent in. So yeah, I'll be continuing to read this. I think I'm gonna stop the vlog pretty soon because I do have a decent amount of footage. Um, so yeah, um, you'll hear my thoughts on the call of the sea in my February wrap up or um, if I do another vlog. Um, I might do another vlog after this one, but I have a couple other videos that I have to do. I still need to record my January wrap-up. I'll probably just send the vlog out here now. Um, so I hope you guys liked this vlog. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know down in the comments. Um, I love chatting with you guys and, uh, can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye!